Hey there, welcome back guys. We're actually gonna test the settings to see how they actually work in real time. And I have to say, it's phenomenal. Um, before we get started, happy Drone89. I actually did the video because um, you had mentioned that there's a lot of Jello happening. Jello is basically shaky cam, um, kind of like in the horror movies, like you can't see what's happening. And then the, uh, the murderer or whoever the ghost is coming after you and all you see is ah, like that. And that has, seems to be happening a lot here. Um, one thing is that if you have nicks in your propellers, right, that could be throwing things off balance. But as you can see, um, all these propellers are even. The metal piece is like flush. Metal piece is flush. Metal piece is flush. Metal piece is somewhat flush. And if it's not, you can take a little something and then press down really hard, right? In this case, uh, maybe that. And then just press until it just goes in, right? And ah, that's pretty even. This one's even now. Um, and now they're all pretty even. You could use a wrench, anything hard. In this case, this was plastic. I wouldn't recommend doing that. But I had put these on so I know how much pressure is needed. And so check your propellers to make sure there's no jello happening. Um, make sure that there are no nicks. Um, these propellers are good because I had just replaced them. And also, it's possible that the gimbal can't handle it. Basically, um, you know, it's, but I, as you can see, I adjusted the gimbal. Um, so it might be a little bit of a different experience with the jelloing, but it still might happen. But I, um, put, I put it basically on the top screw before it was a little bit lower at uh, the lower one. And, and it just kept doing that. Now it's pretty flush, as you can see, and rests right on there, which is great. Um, another thing it could be, you know, maybe it's just off balance. Maybe it just can't handle it. Um, the antenna is there, it should be like that. And you know, there, there, there are a number of variables that it could be, or maybe it's because, um, let's see what we have here. We're gonna pull this out so that, that this is even, right? Maybe this needs to be even. And remember when this thing's flying, it vibrates. And with the ratio, the new settings that I put in, it goes really slow so it's possible that you know it's just jumping uh, maybe i'll try um Im importing the footage into the rocksteady software um maybe it's because there's a screw missing and the propellers are not you know they're spinning but just it needs that extra so like i said they're oh and maybe because of this so even though it's a, a great drone right um the the dji 03 air unit is not securely in there so um, I could see all the vibrating parts. Look how, look how sensitive it is. And you see how that just slipped down, right? And then slipped up, slip down, slip up, slip down. So it's not really in there. And like the back end is pretty securely in there. Um, and you know, I might be having this jello experience because it crashed too many times, but the O3 air unit stood up to the test and always make sure you have your, um, gimbal protector on because this saved me a lot in my crashes and check it make sure it's on there um it's a, i think it's a uv filter of some sort or maybe that has something to do with it i don't know but either way you know the drone is oh yeah i could see how maybe yeah it could be because there's no gimbal protector usually with the dji you know like if you have the mini 3 pro or another drone you know it's programmed to to, to do all that but on that note let's check out the uh Hmm, I noticed there's a little, it's just a little scratch, but that's nothing to be too concerned about. So again, there are different variables that can cause jelloing, you know, maybe make it more secure, put something under there. Um, but it's hard to say. Um, but let's check out the footage with the settings so that these settings are amazing. They work and believe it or not, I'm able to fly this drone with no problem. All right, so I have about six satellites available. In order to get the home point updated and the arrow direction to show up, you have to um, have more than six satellites, but things you know, are working pretty good. And what I'm really impressed with are these settings. Like now, I believe anyone should be able to fly this drone with these settings. It's a really good drone shot, a very nice drone shot. 
Got a nice, nice camera. So nice. On a nice, nice drone. A super good drone. It's a really good drone shot. So cinematic. Yeah, so the only thing I regret is not having my lanyard on because it just makes things more comfortable when flying and you can hold the remote a little bit higher up um, and also charging the battery. But that seems to be a problem with the Pavo Pico. You can have a battery at 100%, but then it won't arm. Like it'll arm. And then as you can see right here, the um, lost the signal because the battery died and then it just fell from the sky. And thankfully I was in an area where I was familiar with. So every time it fell, I was like, oh, it's over there. Oh, it's over there because the, Im the image of where it last was is, is seen in the goggles. So you just have to remember what you saw um, before the drone crashed and then just go in that area. Or you'll see the GPS settings and you can cut and paste those into any app um, that, you know, you can download from the iPhone. You just have to be able to transpose the numbers correctly so that they're input, you know, right within that coordinates. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. Um, so good that I, I can't wait to fly this again. Um, and I noticed that the flight time is a little bit longer uh, with these settings. I guess less stress uh, and power being used because as you can see, the drone is flying a little bit slower. Um, as for the, the, you know, the answer to the jelloing, it, you know, it's, it's a tricky question. It, it's hard to say. There's so many variables that come into play. Um, and the only downside is hopefully I, maybe I'll check out the video that's on the, um, O3 air unit, right? And maybe, who knows, maybe I'll, you can, you can, you can get all those kinks out in, in, in the post-production, um, video editing software, not a hundred percent, but remember this is a beginner drone. Um, but it would be phenomenal if this thing, uh, didn't have any jello and you can just fly it. Right. And th this could be your go-to drone for, um, for doing real estate or just flying indoors to get that cinematic view because the drone will arm without the GPS and it will fly as long as, you know, the connection stays and holds uh, between you and the receiver. Anyway, I hope this video helped you and you're better able to understand how these new settings work and help you fly or how maybe you can troubleshoot the jelloing experience and um, feel free to say jello in the bottom because you know if you come up with a solution share it with us uh, any of you watching this video uh, it'd be nice to know what the um the answer is to that because I, I don't have it all i know is that you know there are different variables that come into play and you know you can just keep trying them all until one actually works um <laughs> and say duct tape the gimbal shut you know so it doesn't move um you know but that's you know that doesn't really work that'll put more weight onto the drone especially if you use duct tape anyway i hope this video helped you and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time